I find it hilarious that we're going to get numbers so much bigger than even this today. The first thing we're going to do today is buy all of these beautiful new managers including the furry. That way we can actually start to get some idea of how much these things are actually making per second. With my super laser still seemingly being the most valuable at 279 trigantillion a second. But since we can afford to upgrade the barn, we're going to. Which made a pretty big difference, but still not huge. But good news, we can still make all profits 9 times, plus my giant laser an extra 3 times. So then obviously we're going to multiply those profits times 3. So it's making 106 on Trigantillion a second, more money than we've ever made before, and we even started our number up here moving again. And we're in for a pretty big increase in angels when we decide to sacrifice them. Because that's going to be like 3,000 times bigger. But we're going to let those angels pile up just a little bit more. Let's see how stupid Earth is doing. It is all the way up to $202 trillion, which means we can finally afford some upgrades. Well, let's make our oil company profits times 3. That way at least now every 3 hours it'll make $100 trillion, so this number is going to seem small pretty soon. Then I'm pretty much just going to work my way backwards, because the more expensive the business, the more money it's going to make me. After all the upgrades, things are moving quicker, we have $187 trillion left, and we're going to ignore Earth for a long time. Back here in the fun zone, let's look at swapping out those angels. That number is not going up quick enough for me, so we're going to go ahead and claim those. Reset and claim for 35 quadricillion angels. That translates to our very basic business with no upgrades, earning 574 quadricillions every click. So even as manually clicking as quick as I can, that's an absurd amount of money. We're up to 100 quindicillion already. But of course, we're going to do the usual thing, then see how much money we're making once we get all the proper upgrades. And we're up to 438 octodecillion, so I'm going to start buying the upgrades here, and I'm going to use my auto clicker to do it. And the money is quickly going to outrun our clicking, even with the auto clicker. And I haven't even bought all the businesses yet, they're all still at a very basic level. So if we buy max of those, that's better, we're just going to max buy again like we always do. I love how quickly these businesses pay for themselves and then push into new greater heights. I really should just be using this button more. Quick buy, which is going to buy all the upgrades, which pay for themselves, which unlock more things. Because our businesses are making such a stupid amount of money that it's basically a joke. Do I want to spend 25 trade to sell in on angels? Yes, I do. Then after buying all the angel upgrades, money's working its way up. We got more upgrades to buy though. 402 of those things, let's do it. And then more. And then more again, so we've already made it back to where we just left off which means we can get level 2000 werewolves. That's another farm upgrade here, so even this one's making an untrigantillion all by itself. And we just surpassed the number of angels, so where we were to restart again, we'd have over twice as much profit from them. And what better day to start off a New Year's resolution than the first day of the year. Then we've got all new businesses. We have a recliner and a treadmill. I definitely prefer the treadmill, but it's a little bit slower at making money. But lucky for us, we can use this to build ourselves up while we're waiting for our moon to push into newer heights. I really miss the managers when we don't have them, so that's going to be the first thing I buy, as many as I can buy. I'm sick of clicking organizing. I don't want to think, I just want to click. And this kind of goes to show you just how slow things really are without the massive profit boost and angel sacrifices. Next we get to unlock video games. And they seem like they're going to be pretty profitable, being that from the very beginning they're making $441 every 10 seconds. And we've got the managers to be able to afford all of these things, so let's buy the mystery meat before buying the other thing. And I take 15 seconds for $330 plus macro chips. Then any minute now we'll be able to afford the rest of these and then we'll really start making the money. I don't know why veggies cost $277,000 but I approve. Let's try Taekwondo Flex for $7,700. That's going to make me $20,000 but it's going to take a full 60 seconds. And strangely that seems like a long time to wait right now. Now I'm just sitting and waiting to buy next. The first thing that comes available I'm going to buy that puts profits up to $180 every 2 seconds. The next upgrade put me up to $5400 every 2 seconds so suddenly the recliner is by far the biggest earner I have. Already the next levels for these are super expensive, it's going to cost me 63 million just to hit the next level of shakes. And I'm not really sure what I did but I got 2 gold for my efforts so that puts me up to a total of 7 gold. While we're slowly building up money here, let's go check in on the moon. Which has earned me three quados. Still not enough to be able to buy any upgrades. Unless of course we include these ones. Oxygen bar profits times three. Yes. Pretty sure that single upgrade alone is going to push me way into new heights. I mean look at the number of angels going up. This was thousands of times what we had before and we've got almost ten times that already. And I guess I'll buy all the managers again just to see our money per second. That's going to help me understand which businesses are good or not. And basically what I'm seeing is the oxygen bar, 644 duo trigantillion a second, which is far away from anything else. 
That seems like all the upgrades we can buy for now, so let's go back to the other area. We've unlocked veggies, and we can even buy Ho Ho Toot Toot. And surprisingly, I still can't afford any more upgrades here yet, because like I said, they're going to start to cost into the millions very quickly. But the recliner, I can already buy the next 25 levels, so now it's going to give me 7200 every 2 seconds. So there's another $460,000, which means I can buy the upgrade here, which is good because the next upgrade is going to be $6.1 billion, but this is going to make me $3,300 every 5 seconds, so that's going to add up quick. And I could buy another 2 moon dollars with my fortune. One day, we will unlock Mars. I just need 3 times as many moon dollars. But since we've got over 10 times the amount of angels we had last time, let's restart because we'll be right back here in about 60 seconds and then making way more money. One minute, 37 seconds later. Well, I just bought all of the upgrades, including the money per second managers, and that means the oxygen bars is now up to 3.5 tetragontillions, so that's much more than it was before. But I can also buy this, which is going to make the profit even higher. And this for 48 quadrillion angels. And we've blown past the number of angels we had this time, and that number's going to skyrocket. It's kind of nice to have this sitting here waiting for me every time, because I can skip back and forth when I run out of things to do. So it's either upgrade this for 2.4 million, or this for 2.8 million. I'm thinking the burger place, just because it was a more expensive business, and therefore it should be more worth it because now it's giving me $75,000 every 15 seconds. And then it's only going to be a few more seconds until we get the money back to be able to upgrade the treadmill. $3 million every 15 seconds. This was clearly the one we needed to upgrade. And then, look what our first upgrade is going to get us. For only $3 million, we can multiply that thing's profit by 49 times. So if we do that, it's now making us $150 million every 30 seconds or whatever it was. So now that that's done, look at all the other upgrades we can afford with that. Let's try this one, which is making us 14 million every 40 something seconds. Suddenly this thing just kind of skyrocketed and now we're making lots and lots and lots of money. And that's good because I've only got 3 days and 20 hours left to milk this bad boy for all it's worth. Now that I have almost a billion dollars to spend on upgrades, I'm going to try the veggie thing because it was the most expensive to begin with and it's actually not the most profitable now. But that's alright, they'll all get there eventually. Especially at the rate we're already making money. Like I could just basically click the orange things now that pop up fairly frequently. And then the upgrades, so before you know it, we'll be making trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars. Now, my Taekwondo place, or boxing place, is my highest earner making me 2.8 billion every 30 seconds. Until I upgrade the profits of the dumbbell place, because that's now making me almost 10 billion dollars every... I don't know what. But the moon, as quickly as it's making money, isn't making money quickly enough. But let's go ahead and take uh, 3.9 quindecillion angels and roll those back into more and more profit. So, 70 quindecillion dollars for one click. So we can just keep going like that and you know the drill. So jumping back to roughly where we were, we're now making 500 trigantillions every second of the oxygen bar and we're now able to buy a few more upgrades. So that number is going to get much bigger, much quicker than before. The angels are quickly catching up to where we are currently, but that number is going to blow past itself as soon as I buy things like pep talk, which is going to give all profits times 9. And that's going to look something like this. So this is now up to 4.2 quadro trigantillion, whatever that means, so the numbers are going up ridiculously faster than they even just were. Which means I could buy a few more upgrades, which means the angels are, yes, definitely going fast. At this rate, we're making one Quinn Trigantillion every 10 seconds. Or a ton of angels. Let's go check in the other place while this area is building up. Well, it's earned me $150 billion, which isn't enough for any upgrades yet, except for this one. Oh, that should help. All profits times 30. The gym is now earning me $280 billion every 37 seconds. But once I upgrade my treadmill, profit times 5, now we're going to be making 44 billion every 15 seconds there. The upgrades in the fun menu are all getting into the trillions, with the next big one for all profits times 10 being 10 quadrillion dollars. Which does sound like a lot, but at the rate we're going with upgrades, that won't actually be too bad. 7 seconds later, buy the green thing. Now that's making us 105 billion every 30 seconds. So far, I've earned 400 points. If I manage to earn 100,000, I get this mysterious suit. But while we're waiting, I think we're maybe going to increase the oxygen bar profits by three times and let that run for a minute. I was going to restart, but at 12 quadro trigantillion a second, we might as well let the angels build up because they're going to go quick. But also, my moon, it's just not making enough money. So let's sacrifice some angels and start the process again. Now starting out at 953 quindecillion dollars from a single click. 
So then after fully upgrading everything, my oxygen bar is up to 160 quadrotrigontillions a second, and we're just overall making a lot more money than we were before because we're still unlocking upgrades. But hey, look at that, I can afford another 100 levels of my super laser. That by itself is gonna give me 20 gold and then make everything a little bit faster. Again, if that's even possible. Back in New Year's land, I'm either gonna buy, well, either one is an upgrade for that guy. 21 plus four, yeah, we can get two upgrades for him. So that one and that one, so now he's making us $842 billion every 20 seconds. Uh, more like every 12 seconds, but that's basically a trillion dollars every 12 seconds. So that's gonna stack up fast. Hey, look at that, I managed to get some gold, 1,327 of them. I just really wanted to see if things could go faster, because visually I wouldn't notice the stripes moving any differently, but this number will go up if it's possible, so 318. And then we buy this, which is going to make everything much quicker, and it's still only 318. So that confirms it, once it hits the stripey thing, that's max speed, the only thing it increased was the laser. I don't know if this counts as a planet, but let's try a 12 times multiplier for this planet. I'm not actually sure if that worked because I wasn't really paying attention to where we were at before. Maybe let's try the speed increase because I'll definitely be able to see that. 80 gold is a small price. Yes, it's definitely working here. I see it now. I get it. Well, I feel like we're going to make some pretty good progress in this place today. Mostly because I bought it, but that's okay. That still counts. And look at that. We can afford the new altar rack. Well, let's keep going and increase the speed. Uh, that's three times. Let's try six times. Let's go three of those, so nine times total. And then we're going to go 27 times multiplier times I don't know how many. Just lots. Now we're making some money. We're up to 75 quadrillion, and I haven't even bought all the upgrades yet. Now we're hitting those speed boosts we need. That's a little better. I also increased the profit uh, maybe once or twice too. I kind of lost count, but... What I do know is we're making a lot of money now, and I can even buy this one. All profits times 10 on top of everything else. And then we'll just keep on clicking until we can't click anymore. And we might tear through these rewards fairly quickly now. I don't know if we're going to hit the suit or not yet, but we're going to give it our best. We could buy the veggies for more speed. All the way from 0 to 300, 400 quintillion dollars already. The angels aren't going up alarmingly fast, but they're going up fast enough. And we can already afford all profits times 5. So let's do the angel thing again, this time with 10 times as many angels as we have currently. Every time we do this, so much extra profit. And there we go, things are moving along pretty quickly. My giant laser is actually now the most profitable again at 4 quintrigantillion a second. A little bit more than my oxygen bar, but between the two of them, I'm pretty rich. Look at this number, it doesn't even know what to do anymore. But you can also tell that we've come a long, long ways in the fact that we're not blowing past our angel totals anymore even with our hundreds of dollars of upgrades. Before doing anything, let's check, uh, yeah, we could buy both of these, why not? Uh, six sextillion dollars and growing quickly because we can already afford 13,000 angels. And here's an upgrade that should make a difference. 40 sextillion dollars equals 453 quintillion dollars every fraction of a second. So look at our money go up now. While things are going pretty fast here, I think if we added 40,000 angels to the equation, that would speed it up quite a bit. So we're gonna do that, because I know we can get right back to where we were. Unless we just spend 20 of our gold and just give ourselves some extra profits. Now look at how many angels we have. 200,000 basically by the time the menu closed. So now our money's going up uh, quite a bit faster than it was before. Plus I just bought a whole bunch of upgrades, plus I'm gonna buy this, all profits times 5. Plus all the other upgrades of course anyways. Because now we're up to the octillions and the millions of angels, all because we added 40,000 initially. Plus that means I can make my profits times 5 and buy these upgrades for whatever that's worth and then claim whatever it was I was just looking at, 2300 points. That's a big one. That means I've made some good progress today. And look at all these upgrades we have available to us. We're making so much more money that it's absurd. Because at the rate we're going, 35 billion angels, we just had 42 million a couple minutes ago, that shouldn't actually even take that long. Ooh, time for a big upgrade that's going to boost everything's speed. There we go, now these two are at warp speed, and we're making more money than ever before in this area, and there's 69 billion angels, should we want to cash them in? I'll probably wait till about 100. For now, I will settle with all profits times 5. Look at these two businesses, they're making like 10 decillion dollars every fraction of a second, and that's really making me feel good about myself. I know I said I was going to wait till we're at 100 billion angels, but somehow we got a lot more than that. Can't imagine why, so let's go ahead and take those, use 20 gold, and watch our new profits, because there's already 6 trillion angels on top of that. Oh, and, you know, more profits. I can't even keep up with all the orange things to click on anymore. This is a terrible problem to have. 
but they're actually all moving at light speed now, so I think we're going to do pretty good on this temporary challenge. That's another 5 times profit and uh, rising up. Shredmill profits times 2. And we got more orange things to click on. How thoughtful. It's actually kind of ridiculous how quickly we're moving through things right now. Like, I don't even have time to keep up with everything. As soon as I click on a few things, I've got more things to upgrade. By the time I leave that menu, I've got more orange things here. I come back and I've got more orange things here. Basically, I just have way, way too much money at this point. I'm not really sure why we hit such a big gap, but we did. We went from 336 billion angels up to almost 10 quadrillion already. That is many, many, many more. And we're going to take advantage of that right now, just because we can. Like, look how many times I can just click on any one of these right now. The fact that I can click multiple times on any one business says that we're making way too much money. And I bought another profit times too. Here's another speed boost for the veggie place, but we don't really need another speed boost because everything's as fast as it could possibly go. Why aren't they all lit up orange? This is stupid. We need more angels. 30 quintillion? I'll take it. That's so much fun because every time even just leaving the menu we have so many more than we had before. I'm just going to start buying max now because I feel like a lot of these are just single levels anyway. So we could buy 5 of those, 43 of those. You get the idea and our numbers are going to get really, really, really big. Another time 7 profits, we'll take that and that's going to jump us back ahead, Octodecillion. The moon is still plugging away, but we're up to a pretty big number that I have never seen before. Oh, we can also increase our profits times 9, plus increase our oxygen bar. Uh, we had to pick one or the other, but we'll be back to where we were pretty shortly. Literally 15 seconds later, more oxygen bar profits. That's making us 80.3 quintrigantillion a second, which is, uh, yep, yeah, my most profitable business currently. I've kind of just realized how expensive some of these upgrades are getting. Like to buy two here costs eight octodecillion, which makes his money back pretty fast, but the upgrades aren't getting necessarily huge here. But what I can do is sacrifice some angels for 25 of those levels, and it only costs a million angels. So I'm going to do things like that for a little bit until I start actually spending angels. And I'm not sure if that made a big difference to my profits, but it couldn't have hurt it. So just imagine how much money we'll make next time when we do this whole thing again, but get like a trillion times a trillion times a trillion more money. 